What's up guys, Scotty here from a Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at uh, one of the new uh, features and add-ons that they added within the DLC of Sunset Harbour. So this of course is the brand new transit option, uh, as well as the helicopters we've already looked at, they have added trolley buses. Now this is the one which me personally, I feel the least excited for, um, because I feel that they are pretty much the same as a tram um, and sometimes I even feel like they're even worse than a tram in some ways and I'll go cover that in a little bit um, but I feel that they're basically the same as a tram and it forces you to basically change your layout of your city or the, your road networks to adopt this type of transport. Now I understand these are the real thing around the world and so that some people want to have it for realism for, so they're trying to recreate a certain city but personally I don't feel like that but we'll cover it anyway we'll have a look at exactly how they work and how they can operate um, but yeah and we'll cover all the bits and bops later. So for this I'm going to be doing this part of the city here because at the moment I've got this bit here which is covered by trams and uh, yeah, I feel that I need this bit covered by my trolley buses, so why not? Let's have a look at this. Now it's worth noting that you can't actually intersect trams and, tro and the trolley buses together, it doesn't work. Uh, you can't have them travelling on the same bit of road, uh, same bit of road, it doesn't work. Uh, it's quite annoying. And so that means it really limits you on where you can actually place them. Once again, it's a limiting factor. But it's fine, so let's have a look at them. So if you come down to the transport section at the bottom, and you hear that you can see here the trolley buses and next to the normal proper buses you got this bit here so first of all you need to place down a trolley bus depot now the key important thing with this is that this has to be uh, connected to your trolley bus network somewhere which already has a giant limiting factor in the sense that I want it in the town centre and I need my trolley buses accessible somewhere, so I'm going to have to have, probably going to have to bulldoze this, which is a shame. It's not pulling in a lot of money, so that's not not a problem. Um, yeah, it's alright. Bulldoze you, I'm sorry. And I'm going to place my trolley bus depot uh, in here, I feel. There you go, it's my trolley bus depot. And once you get your trolley bus depot, the key important things are, is basically, you need just a normal road. But uh, you require overhead pylons, so you require some overhead uh, power above a road. And the game has implemented this currently uh, in unmodified things in three types of roads. So you've got uh, a two lane road with the trolley bus wires, you've got the two lane one way road with trolley bus wires, so essentially the same thing, just one way, and you have a four lane road with trolley bus wires. Now, this is a four lane road in terms of it's uh, one of these avenue roads so for this road despite it being four lanes I actually have to implement it with just being a two lane which is a bit of a shame so I'm gonna have to downgrade all of my roads here oh no wait I've completely missed my bit uh, that's fine I can I can do it a bit later all right so I'm gonna have this join up to here like so uh, so in theory I didn't need to change those roads, but that's okay, I can change those back. There you go, I'm going to have to have it cross this road, uh, downgrading against this road. And then now we can just go around this part of the city. So I'm going to have it loop here. You can already see I'm having to change pretty much most of my layout. Or well, not my layout per se, my, the way my, this part of the city will operate. Uh, I can't have it come down here because, uh, yeah, they they can't cross ones with tracks, which is a bit annoying. See, so I am limited to basically sticking into this area here, and I'm gonna have it. Um, I could come this way, but then that requires me to change that bit of uh, road there. So I'm just gonna have it come this way. And uh, go there again. Okay. So you can see there what bits of my road are. Now, let's just for the simplicity, let's show you off what this bit of road looks like. It's basically the same thing except for um, you got 
roads on either side. So it's not a major difference and major change. Um, it's just, yeah. Right, let me just change these roads back to something a little bit more useful. Okay, so right, so there's those. Now, as a similar uh, of the other um, types of transport in this game, you require to have stops. So they've added the, uh, the stops on the end, and in the city, uh, sorry, in the city, city skyline sunset harbour add-on, they've changed the icon for a lot of the uh, the stops. They haven't changed it for the metro line, um, but they've changed it for pretty much most of the others uh, here. But the metro, they haven't changed. They still got like this loop thing, but all the others they've changed it to be like this bus stop but with like a little uh, icon above it but that's fine so what you do here is once you click into this you can see that your city has uh, gone into a new data view which shows you not only all your transport options but shows you what roads are currently marked as eligible for trolley buses so we can see here we've got this little loop ground here going around here so all we're going to do is we're just going to do periodic stops along this route just in a vital places, so I'm going to stop outside the train station, stop out there. I'm not going to stop at every point because I know that loads of people, loads of you are, when you watch my tram one, moaned that I place stops absolutely everywhere and people can, you know, remember I was walked. Um, agreed. Um, but yeah, so we get, I've just placed down all of my stops around this loop. And once that's happened, you can see there I've completed my loop. Now you can have trolley buses going in the opposite direction, but with this smaller loop, I feel that's fairly pointless. Um, yeah, we've just got it set and we're now getting trolley buses going. Let's have a quick look at the model of the trolley bus. So we can see here it's very similar just to normal, um, a normal bus except for it looks like it's got a couple of extra fans and stuff on the top to make it look a little bit more modern. And then it's got these little pylons which come out the back and uh, attach onto the uh, overhead pantograph. Or the overhead wires and stuff. That's okay, it's fairly okay not too bad nothing overly drastic something worth noting is that these buses um, can only take a maximum of 30 people each um, so yeah fairly small capacity for having to completely change how your city operates and functions with roads that's okay but we can see there now we have got our stops uh, there you go it's, I think that's one of the stops yep so we've accidentally or on purpose Put one of the stops just outside one of the uh, metro stations. That's always handy. So we see here. Nope. Okay, the bus decided it didn't stop. That's okay. It's just one of those things. It's just going to the uh, nearest uh, stop where it wants to start the loop. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. I have to cover on the trolley buses. Um, they're okay, I suppose. If you're starting out, uh, they function. They work. Uh, but I personally feel that you could be just so much better. You could just use a normal bus, and it does exactly the same thing. Um, you don't get any benefit for them being trolley buses. Um, maybe you know pollution is technically less because they are electric right over um, over having uh, petrol. So if you're worried about having pollution inside your city, uh, then absolutely these are probably your best option because they are electric over having uh, you know buses going around. But then there are other options for you. And uh, in the grand scheme of things, having buses going around is not the biggest problem in the world for pollution. So yeah, is this the greatest problem? Please put in the comment section below. Um, are these the uh, are these actually good? Have I missed the point? Um, you know, have I missed something which uh, you feel that actually no, these are the right things to have in the game, or you know, are they just another add-in to the game that has just made transport a little bit worse? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Put them in the comment section below. Um, the best comment I can see uh, about um, your opinions and stuff and what you feel about trolley buses, I will pin it to the top. So please comment below and see if uh, your comment will get pinned. But yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys have liked this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, big thumbs up for the transport options within City Skylines. Uh, there are a lot of other ones. I know I'm moaning about this one quite a bit in drams, but I feel this one is uh, meh. But there are a lot of other good ones. So big thumbs up for those and thumbs up for the video. Um, also, there's only about 1% of you who are actually subscribed, so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please, 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 go ahead, click that button. only takes a second, and it really helps out our smaller channel, so go ahead, click that button below, and you'll get notified of all my other content I make. I make a lot of uh, City Skylines, but we also make a lot of other content, which is for entertainment purposes, so go check it out. We've got loads of good series up there, and uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button. So yeah, with that being said, I've been Scully from the Blue Coconut Family. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.
goodbye for now.